G'day and welcome to Todd's Kitchen. I was at my sister-in-law's the other day and she made an outstanding spinach dip. So I decided to steal the recipe so I could share it with you. So join me today and with a big thank you to Raquel as we make a spinach dip in a cob loaf. Okay, now to start off with, into a bowl I've already whisked one egg and to that we're going to add some spinach. Now this is frozen spinach and the reason why I choose, chose this is because it's already finely diced up. Just make sure you squeeze all the juice out, all the water. You can use the fresh stuff but you'll have to put it into a food processor for probably a good five minutes to get to this consistency. So I'm going to whack that right in. Now to that we're going to add 300 ml of sour cream. And then lastly you're going to find this in the soup section. French onion soup. This really does make a difference in the taste, trust me. So I'm going to put a, the whole packet in, just dry. Now just mix it around until everything is completely 100% combined. Okay, once done, this is the optional but recommended version. I want you to just cover it up and we're going to put in this and leave it in the fridge overnight, so prepare this the day before. And it just gives it a chance for all those flavors to infuse. It does make a difference. So I'm gonna keep this covered up and we're gonna place it into the fridge. Okay, now I've got one standard cob loaf here. Now you can buy these at most bakeries. This one I've actually baked myself. And if you wanna know how to bake it, I'll leave a link down the bottom in the comment section, which will take you to my video on where I make this. Well, not this particular one, but you get the idea. So we want a serrated knife. And you just want to cut just the very, just the very top off. Right. Just like that. So we don't need that, so we can chuck that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take all the bread out from the inside of this cob. So do it by grabbing a little bit at a time like so, and put it onto a baking tray. Okay, so as you can see, it's completely hollowed out and I've saved all the insides onto another baking tray. So grabbing the mix we prepared yesterday, I'm just going to pour it straight in. Okay, so once done, we're going to place this to a preheated oven at 150 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes, but after 15 minutes, we're going to put these bread, extra bits of bread in. That'll just harden them up a little bit because we're going to use these to dip into this. So 150 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Okay, so I've just taken this out of the oven. Now it's nice and firm on the outside. And the pieces are just slightly hardened on the outside, just like so. So now to give this a go. good. <laughs> that was really good. Also, when you run out of these, it's a matter of grabbing the outer part and having a go of that too. That's great. <laughs> so, this is all finished. <laughs> you can start on all this. <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. Be sure to show me some love by giving me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.